our states. Why was a flyover being inaugurated by the state chief minister in grandfather's town? That's because the flyover was made by the state government. But most such big projects are inaugurated by the prime minister. The flyover was funded and made by the state government, so it was inaugurated by the chief minister. But why do some projects belong to the state and others to the prime minister? They don't belong to anyone but the people. There are two types of governments in our country: central government and state government. The central and the state governments work together to look after the welfare of the people. Isn't this so confusing? No, it isn't. India is a very large country in size. Because of the large population, the country has been divided into states. India has 29 states and even smaller seven units called union territories. So what exactly are the state governments and the central governments? The government at the center is called the union government. The central government makes laws for the whole country. It is run by important people like the president, vice president, prime minister and officers of the central government. Their offices are located in New Delhi. What is a state government? The governments governing the 29 states of India are called state governments. The governments in the states are run by the governor and the chief minister. Their offices are located in the state capitals. The union territories are governed by the central government. A governor is appointed for each. The national capital territory (NCT), a union territory, is the capital of India. Among the union territories, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are the largest, and Lakshadweep is the smallest. There are seven union territories in India. These are Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Chandigarh, Dadra and Nagar Haveli, Daman and Diu, Lakshadweep Islands, the National Capital Territory of Delhi, and Puducherry.